So you might have noticed as you're running around Yara that um, yeah, you can free um, people from the enemy's grasp. And when you do, you see it has a uh, Los Bandidos recruit pop up or added or something like that. Ever wondered what they there that's for and what purpose it serves? Well, today we're going to explain how those um, freed hostages can earn you lots and lots of pesos. Let's do it. So to earn lots of pesos, you need to find a Los Bandidos operations board. Now they should be in ma the major bases that you'll get in many of the uh, guerrilla hideouts. They're scattered all across the map, so you shouldn't have a, a problem finding them. Um, come into the operations base and this will help to get you lots and lots of money. Um, okay, so let's go over to um, Danny and I'll explain when you should do this and how you should do this and then I'll walk you through the step by step how it all works. We're going to play a wee mini game effectively. So here is the board behind us and um, what I suggest you do, how I suggest you do this is that at the end of every um, gaming session or even at the start of every gaming session, just depends how you want to do this, Go across to the board and trigger an operation. The one we're going to show you today, I basically finished uh, playing my game. I came back to an, uh, an operations base that had this board. I triggered an event and then I shut down the game. And um, then when I came back the next day, it was ready to go. So you can either do it at the end of a gaming session or the start of a gaming session. But... Um, Please understand that it does take a bit of time before you can actually interact with it. And we'll explain that in a second. So it's a good habit to get into. It really, you know, if you're running around or you close the game down, it'll still take over in uh, real time. So it really doesn't matter when you do this. But just get into the habit of doing it. So to start off the games, just walk up to the board and it should give you a trigger and click into it and you'll be confronted by a board like this. So let's just explain this front board first and then we will get into how it all starts to work. So you can see on the left hand side there you have one leader and you will get leaders as you go through the game. You'll get different leaders. So the more leaders that um, you get, the uh, the better because the more missions you'll be able to do at once. At this point, I've only got one uh, leader in Benito, so that's the only one I can use. And you can see under uh, available, uh, there is 43 recruits. Now, this is the recruits that you run around and grab from... Um, from the uh, game world in the map, the people that you're freeing, and that's where they go, and they will um, work for you on the operation. Now, as you go along the top there, you see there's various operations, and they've got various um, rewards to them. The ones you are interested in, and the one we're going to do today is Flying Full, which is going to give me 2,000 pesos if I complete it properly. But it's going to take 12 of those recruits to um, to complete, and it's going to take two hours. And you can see as you go along, there's varying recruits and varying amount of time that it's going to take. So this is why I say either trigger it at the start of a gaming session or the end, because um, you just click and set this going, and then you'll come back and we'll go through the steps. So um, that's how it all works, pretty simple. To set this in motion is pretty simple. Just click into the mission you want, like that. It'll give you a board to choose a leader or leaders. I've only got one in Benito, so I'll choose him. So click on him, dispatch him, and that starts the thing progressing. And just leave it and come back a little bit later. Okay, so when you come back to the board after having set this, and I set this overnight, I basically set it when I finished the game. And I've, this is the first time I've logged in since then. So you'll see this little um, indication and you will get a notification that says you have orders to manage. So it says manage Bandido operations. And um, it will show you that you'll see the, the other ones will be grayed out. So it'll be this one here. So give orders. So you have to go through a series of steps here. Now, have a look at this down here. And it will show you what rewards 
uh, you're going to get. So 500 pesos, but there's only a 60% success rate. Um, some medicine, uh, or costing medicine, but you'll get a 70% um, success rate, an increased chance of success with each bandido operation step. And then, of course, uh, you can do uh, this one, which is durable seals, but you have a 70% success rate, but you'll lose up to four bandidos. So you go through and you read these, shoot anything gray that flies, these birds must have some kind of marker indicator, blah, blah, blah. But here is the attractive one, because you'll get an extra 500 uh, pesos. So we're going to try and do that one. And so that's been successful. So on top of 2,000, if we complete this, we'll get an extra 500. Continue. So it comes to the next screen. Um, here we go. I think we're going to go homing beacon. What else can we get? Bonus rewards. Um, we're just going to go homing beacon, although that one's pretty, uh, pretty attractive. Additional information on useful leader skills for each available bandido operation. And you'll see as you hover over these how many uh, the resources you have. If, if you can't complete it, you don't have the resources, it will tell you. I'm actually, I'm intrigued with this one. So we're going to go there. And then the third step is, let's have a look. So we can get another 500 credits there. Pesos there, which I think we're going to do at 80. There we go. Continue. And that's it. Bandido operation complete. Claim your reward. Now watch the pesos went up. Once I claim this reward, just rack up. There you go, 500, 500, 2,000. There's 3,000 pesos for just playing a game that took me a couple of minutes to complete. Very nice. Uh, it's something I highly recommend. And then you can go and go nuts in the shop and buy all those good things like um, special weapons and all kinds of good stuff. So that is the Los Bandidos operations. Get yourself in there. Get them running. And I, I will now set another one. Um, and once we've done that, we can close down the uh, the game and um, yeah, come back and do it all again. Really useful game to play, mini game. It will help you early in the game a lot. If it's been useful and you've enjoyed it, a like rating's always appreciated. It really does help out the channel a lot. If you'd like to see more tips and tricks for Far Cry 6, I've got a lot more coming. But if you've got ideas, I'm always open to ideas. Leave a comment down below and we will catch you next time on Gaming for XP. See ya!